You have just tuned in to the Anything Goes School of Mixed Martial Arts podcast. That's right, we're the only show that doesn't have a dedicated time slot. But that doesn't matter because, just like the title says, anything goes. That's right. And in this show, we don't actually talk about mixed martial arts, nor do we talk Ironic. about Fortnite. Ironically enough, because what's the first two rules of the Anything Goes podcast? Anything goes. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait a minute. We don't talk about first... Fortnite. We don't talk about Fortnite. That's right. Second rule? We don't talk about Fortnite. Amen, brother. Yeah, someday we're going to quit this joke, but we haven't beaten <laughs> that dead horse properly yet. Never. That dead horse is still in one piece. Yes, we have to, like, beat it to smithereens. But today we got uh, a longtime viewer of mine, motherfucker, actually grew up on my uh, stream. <laughs> um, G-dubs. If you guys have watched my stream or seen any of my videos on YouTube where I talk about him, he is my nerd one. I found him when he was like, what's well, a comic book? Who's Robin Hood? <laughs> and since then, I have educated him the way of nerd. What's that there? Animu stuff. Yes. Still working I've on been... anime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I then took that uh, mantle and ran with it pretty damn hard. He did. Uh, In the wall. A couple times. And, and <laughs> this is perfect because... I haven't been able to read any comic books, and this isn't a comic book podcast, so I get all, I get away with that. Absolutely. So does Absolutely. so does Kelly. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> I haven't read There's, shit. Dude, I haven't. I whenever whenever the last time we did a CBN, yeah, that's 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 the last time I read a comic. I know we got so much shit to get caught up on. We'll we'll oh, get there God. eventually. It's daunting. Um, <sighs> yeah. How are you guys? Good, good. All right, so let's uh, let's right. start off with how was your week. Uh, we're gonna start with G Dubs, and we'll circle around to me. G Dubs, how was your week? What did you do to your week? What did you play? What did you see? What did you do? Blah blah blah. Yeah, go schmack. Dude, I can't talk about anything round. I did this week on fucking YouTube. Is, anything goes, my friend. Anything hey, goes. We're, hey, we're, we're hey we're already past a minute. We can say whatever the hell we want. That's yeah. Funny. All right. Well, um, it was spring break. Uh, I'll tell you about the part before I went to the beach. Uh, which was me uh, here at the uh, home. I, we, my best friend and I, uh, my best friend's moving in with me uh, as I go to college next year. And uh, we started, we shot about three episodes of a podcast. We have to figure out how to edit it. We what's, kept messing what's things up. the name of the podcast going to be? The name of the podcast is going to be the te title tentative podcast. Okay. Uh, We're getting really because... original with titles, aren't we? <laughs> um, we have the YouTube channel made for it. Uh, it's uh, right here, which I can link to you. Um, it's just, just it's it G Dubs. It it's G Dubs twenty thirty three. Uh, that did not link you, link you to my channel. That linked you to YouTube. Um, <laughs> you go on YouTube? Damn! <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> yeah, that should. This one should work, maybe. Is that the, it, it's the view as subscriber when you actually have the account, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that's it. I went ahead with... Uh, it's really funny because my name's always been God of the Wastes, um, which is obviously level 29 or 30 in Fallout 3. But um, it slowly became GW. Because, because it was too much for Kelly to say. Hey, God of the Ways. <laughs> hey, God of the Ways. Hey, God of the Ways. Hey, God. Yeah, I was like, fuck that. G Dubs. What's up? And, and viewers kept thinking it was some sort of religious, uh, like, <laughs> like, like, not, like, insult. It wasn't. Um, so, uh, if, and then eventually it just became G Dubs, and I just spelled out my abbreviated name phonetically, which I like. And uh, I went ahead with uh, 2033 because, God damn it. But, Jesus, you made my name, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Kelly showed me what Metro was and gave me the G Dub's name. I just realized that. But uh, you know, I have influential power. To... <laughs> okay. You've given birth to this man's persona. I have. So when when this thing takes off and we start ruling the world, uh, I guess I guess the word is always going to be able to have that on me. I will. Um, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, speaking of Metro, I finished Metro Exodus, um, I still fantastic I game, that. fantastic game, I don't, I need Kelly to finish it so he can explain exactly what the fuck happened in the ending, um, it was a really, really fun game, but the story didn't knock me off my feet the way the past Metros have, um, 
Mm -hmm. I just felt like you, you're find you're finding a new place to live. You know, that's yeah. right. That's what's happening. I don't really understand what happened with the politics. I mean, is did Miller, Archium, and Anna really just say fuck this and leave? Um, like, is that it? At the end or... of the book, okay, okay. Miller doesn't leave. He actually gets like absorbed into the political part of the craziness that's going on in the metro. But he went back to his home um, station of, uh, I think it's, it's not Sebastopol, it's Prospect, it's not Prospect, it's one of the Prospect stations. Okay. Um, and he tried to convince Uncle Sasha and the folks in that station to leave with him because it was all just a whole shit show. And they, they stayed. And he was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out. I, I am not dealing with this. I am not putting up with this bullshit. I know what's going on, and this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Grabs his wife, and another person goes with him, and they just deuce out in a car. They're like, fuck you guys. Fuck out. this shit, I'm out. Like yeah. that. No now, thanks. Um. They changed it in the game to where there was a whole train, and Miller and a couple Spartans went with them, which is an okay change, but honestly, like what I would have loved to have seen was Miller and the Spartans show up after Arth Anna Ar Arthium deuced out with the car. Like, the car's broken down by a railroad track, and Miller pulls up next to him in a train going, we were tired of this shit after everything that happened, and, you know, fuck that Dude, piece. Miller's Miller's character in that moment, him having to... Because it, it, Miller's such... He's such a... He's a great character. Mm -hmm. um, he's so staunch, but he, he, like, really, at the end of the day, he just cares about protecting a group of people he's in charge of and his daughter yes um and he's so staunch and really really what he's so he's so staunch in his views but he's really just trying to play it safe too you don't really blame him um he's going with what he knows but uh you're in the desert right kelly yeah i'm in the desert part okay so so you've seen the okay so you've seen the part on the way to the i believe it's in between the um yes. first yeah. section with cultists yeah, 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 where yeah, yeah. he just goes the war isn't over. <laughs> and everyone's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? It's just, oh, God, it's great. Um, and then other than that, uh, we shot the pot. We did, like, a ton of just figuring out how the hell to do a podcast. Uh, we had a couple friends on um, figuring out the wiring and the audio and shit, which is all complicated. It's not just a Google Hangouts call, which I really enjoy. It's what I like about our podcast the most. Um and then, uh, oh, I played through Call of Duty World at War on Twitch. Uh, picked up a couple followers there. People seem to like it. Um, cool. But I need to figure out a schedule. And, yeah, other than that, that was pretty much my week. And then my uh, girlfriend and I went to the beach the rest of the week. Hell yeah. 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 Nothing wrong with that. All right, cool. LT Gray. Yes, How sir. Was your week? How was your last two weeks? Oh, my God. I, my last two weeks have been draining as hell. First of all, um, I had to uh, I had to leave the state uh, for you know legal purposes. <laughs> 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 no, no, actually, um, um, I left uh, I left to go to Chicago because um, my cousin was getting married, and um, and uh, my mother and I were asked to perform a song there. Um, what was it called? Uh, Shallow from that's a movie. Um, a Star Is Born. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom and I were asked to sing that song at the um, at the wedding reception. So number one, we had to go because cousin was getting married. Number two, we were part of the entertainment, so we kind of had to pack up some stuff and go. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was all fine and dandy, but cut to like mid-travel preparations and um, turns out that uh, my um, my other cousin, my great cousin, my oldest eldest cousin Hey, hey Tony. Um, yeah. Can we do a little less ums and ahs and oohs and ahs and e uh, oh, This is what I've been constantly <laughs> being corrected on all week trying to figure out podcast etiquette so I'm right with you. Oh my god. <laughs> You can't do shit. I take a bite of a chip or something, and I get 
don't eat the chip. Anyways, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead, your great cousin. People call me a grammar Nazi. Jesus. Javol, correct your grammar, boy. Javol. Well, long story short, uh, while we're figuring out how what's our travel plans and whatnot, turns out my eldest cousin's husband had also passed away that that weekend. So, while we were getting ready for a wedding, we were literally at the same time also getting ready for a funeral. So our travel plans had to be extended. Um, we had to literally shift gears from happy times to sad times. And we just got back from it all uh, one or two days ago, and I am just spent. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit, man. That, that sounds exhausting as hell. Very much. Ten hour drive from here to Chicago, spending time with family and friends and trying to fellowship and all that. Performing live in front of a, a group of about uh, estimated 200 or so people. And then we had to put a fellow family member into the dirt. God rest his soul. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just it's been a, a very action packed couple of weeks uh, been an action packed weekend week week weeks it's it's been it's it's been a while since I could remember the rest of the lyrics yeah how the rest of that song go? I don't remember. Hey, hey, who sings it? Uh... Damn. Who <laughs> you should keep it that way? Stain. 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 No, oh, you should keep it that way. Wow. Why, 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 why did you text I, I learned me? That I should... <laughs> why did you text me? Dude, dude that, was, that was Matt. That was not for you. Sorry. You texted me about my own podcast, GW. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking sent the wrong link. Get off my you're, dick. You're failing, <laughs> Devin. You're failing, okay? You're failing. Right, and there goes my internet anonymity. All right, Jordy fucked it up for you, and now you gotta fuck you it up for me. Yeah, thanks. You the internet, dude. Oh, fucking it up, Devin. Jesus Christ, what the hell am I gonna do with you? If I don't, if I don't get this shit right, and I have to go white collar, they're gonna know I'm a nerd. Fuck. They already know you're a nerd. Just get over it. Yeah, they do. And, and how was your week? My supreme dictator of this podcast. Yes, mm. and you guys should remember that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get my ums and ears and uh, and uh, going here in a second. Let's see. Last two weeks, I've just been working, uh, playing a crap load of Destiny Two because the whole season of the Drifter stuff is going on, and they have a lot of new lore for the Nine going on. So I've been doing that. Also, I have um, Devil May Cry. One day, I'll eventually, I'll sit down and play and. Then I get to finish all of my Resident Evil 2 playthroughs, and I just don't have any time. Mm. I really just don't have any time. This really, I wish I had more time, man. I really wish I did. Uh, on a happier note, there's a possibility I'll be moving into IT relatively soon if the IT people at my job will, uh, you know, set up an interview. Uh, one of the higher ups there that uh, found out was a v gamer also, so we sit there and we talk, man, to like get a chance to. I get a chance to pin him down. I'm like, oh my god, have you played some Destiny 2 lately? And he's like, nah, dude, I've been really busy, but what's going on? Tell me what's going on! And so I fell him in on what's going on. He's like, god, I wish I had time. And I'm like, I, I understand. I understand, but since I stream, you know, I can I can get into a little bit of it. But he uh been keeping the ear to the ground about any IT jobs. Actually, I th I'm pretty sure they all have for me, which I truly appreciate them doing that. They don't have to do that because technically... If I move out of that position, that's one less person working in the warehouse for them. But, you know, why why stay, uh, you know, keep somebody in a position? Okay, sir, and... sir, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. That's uh, that's five us. Uh, so uh, we're getting close <laughs> to your quota. Just want to let you know. And, you know, why keep somebody in a position where they're not happy? So that's a good thing that they're doing that. Um, but the possibility of the... IT job coming around is is really good. He's he got an email from them recently going, "We just don't have any time. We're so busy." And he sends back an email going, "You got a guy who's ready to go to work for you. Why don't you interview him and give him some work so you're not as busy?" 
you can't see bing, my facial bang, expression. Bing, bang, boom, in. Bad. Exactly. Uh, modern solutions for modern problems. But otherwise, I've been... I like that reference. ...working. <laughs> and, uh... Working and, and playing Destiny 2. Sek uh, Sekiro Shadows Dies Die Twice came out yesterday. It didn't even... Sekiro. Didn't even, Sekiro. Yes. Shadows Die Twice. Came out yesterday. I didn't even realize it. I'm not even going to lie. I walked into GameStop to harass uh, my, you know, people I used to work with there. Because the store manager is still the same from when I worked at GameStop. So I still go in there and talk to him. Uh, the He's like, yeah, it just came out. I'm like, really? He's like, you didn't know? I said, no, man. I thought it was like a month out. He's like, nah, it just came out. So I'll wait a couple more days and go up there and see if they got any freebies for the game. You know, get the little statues and the pre-order crap that they give them. Which well, is pretty yeah. cool. Um, pre-order swag. I just uh, put my background in Discord. Mm -hmm. um, that's really funny you made that reference. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is that literally reference. my background. <laughs> I fucking... I just, that's my mood during the day. Whenever I'm going on my phone, it's probably because I've had to think that thought and bullshit some essay or whatever. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, I have City Hunter and Supercut movies on this hard drive? No. Oh, dude, going through oh your my hard god. drive. City Hunter. Oh my, oh my god, I have all the Jet Jackie Chan movies. <laughs> that's right, I gave you those sons of bitches. Oh my god, I forgot about them. I was wondering where they went. You um, got um, them from me. <laughs> I um, am moving. I have an old 500 gigabyte hard drive that has been faithfully serving me for the last like six years. When and I, should have been dead five years ago. When mm -hmm. I got it, it should have been dead. Put it that way. <laughs> wow. And uh, with recent tax time, I uh, bought purchased some upgrades for the system, which includes a one terabyte SSD for the primary drive and a three terabyte uh, HDD that runs at 7200 RPM for extra storage and now I'm moving everything off of my old 500 gig hard drive onto that so currently at last at this current count I have a one terabyte SSD one terabyte hard, a hybrid drive and two three terabyte HDDs so that gives me eight terabytes of storage space it's not enough I'm gonna need more it's never enough especially no. when you have that much porn on your hard drive right exactly I am on a 120 gig yeah. SSD. It's just, that's not never gonna cut it for me. I know it sounds Dude, like first world problems. It doesn't. It doesn't. But no, no, it's a legitimate problem. Fuck what anyone else says. I yeah. don't have enough room. No, nobody does on 120. That's that's fucking Windows. That's all that is. 120. Gigs. I know. I well, I have a hard drive, of course. Yeah. But I need some upgrades, but. Obviously, I've only been working a shift a week because I've been wrestling six days every week. So, well, are you done wrestling? No, after that no, I'm happened? completely, I'm, com I'm dead. Never again. Completely done. Yeah, I was saying, placed in state, whatever the fuck. I can't get another concussion. That would be silly of me. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not <laughs> worth the what the the problems you're gonna have later on in your life if you keep wrestling and catch another concussion. But I do have, <laughs> technically, post concussion syndrome, which is what you get with any concussion, Kelly. You have it. Um, and I am eligible for the Compassionate Care, uh, Compassionate Care Registry here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Do it. Medical marijuana. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I just, uh, these are my circumstances and I'm going to have to deal with them. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, speaking of Nazis, because you guys are... <laughs> Segway <laughs> of the century, right, right there. there, right? Because there. because you guys were talking about uh, grammar Naziage. Did you guys happen to? I don't know if you watch it, um, Ryu, but uh, Kelly, did you finish Helsing a Bridge? They up uploaded episode nine and ten. I'm freaking finally. I'm gonna yes. be honest. I'm I'm terrible at watching that stuff. Oh okay. well, dude, it's like a three hour series. I at still this point. terrible at watching that stuff. If I get on yeah. YouTube, I end up falling down the top ten uh, dark hole, and that usually holds my attention tension until I have to get up and go to work. Dude, that's a <laughs> shitty top hole because you don't. That's a shitty hole because like you don't know if that shit's real or not. Mm. Mm. Some of the reporting in those top ten videos are pretty sketchy. Yeah, they're they, they turn into they turn into instead of top ten lists of 
we've asked a, we've asked 100 people what their favorite so and so was. It turns into more of like a personal. These are my personal top 10 picks for the week or whatever. <laughs> See, top 10 abandoned ships. See, I don't mind like the. Uh those particular things like if i, I want to see people's personal top tens and so that way i can ridicule them for having <laughs> yeah. you know you know it's your it's your it's your opinion man but it's the wrong exactly. opinion <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> listen here all right your asshole stinks but mine doesn't and exactly. let me tell you exactly <clears throat> that's right my shit smells like roses yep that's impressive Mm-hmm. Speaking of shit, <laughs> second, second segue. This man is on a roll. So, so I'm a barista at a bookstore, um, and uh, it's I, I, it's not it's not a failing bookstore, but it's barely alive. Um, and the people that I get in the store, we don't get a lot of customers in the cafe, but the ones that we do, I mean, they are straight out of the fucking Twilight Zone. I can't make it up. I mean, this is why Florida... These people are why Florida has its own. <laughs> it is why we are the phallic-shaped peninsula that's <laughs> dipped, that is dipped in cocaine. Because, you are know, they, Miami. Are they the creations I, of that meme where you type in man in Florida? Oh, oh we, already, we already did that segment <laughs> on Title Tentative. It's, it's ridiculous. I just, I, mine was like a man trying to fuck an ATM. I, it was ridiculous. But anyway, um, uh, this person knows. came in this morning at uh, 10.01 a.m. So I was opening my, the cafe door. Uh, my associate uh, opened up the double doors, and he came in. And he's looking up at the menu, and you know I'm just kind of waiting, and he rips the most horrifying three second fart. <laughs> that, like, <laughs> dude, it instantly hit me, and uh, it sounded wet. And I'm assuming it was because he oh. turned around and walked out of the fucking store. The last thing that guy needed was coffee. Dude just sharted, all right, as you guys opened up for business. <laughs> Dude, and if you think that was bad, getting that fucking... Okay, we have a busted <laughs> drainage pipe, right? So the oh. cafe smells already. If you, if you don't, like, if you... uh. If you run a ton of water or you put a ton of milk down, like, this, this one main drain, it smells really bad, right? But if you, you know, put in the certain cleaner with it, you can you can fight the smell, right? Dude, I wanted to smell the rotten milk more. Oh. <laughs> then whatever the fuck, <laughs> whatever demon came out of this man's asshole. Like, Jeez. I, dude, it was fucking putrid. And so what we did was we went to uh, right behind the um, uh, Bible section. There's an incense section. And we got like we marked down like two bottles of poopery and we fucking Monsanto the entire store. And I swear to God, it was still lingering. That's funny. That's that's rather disturbing. That, that it's fucking is. just dude, dude, like I can't. But like. <laughs> Do you know, like, I didn't know what to do. I was fucking petrified. I couldn't laugh because I was so stunned. And if I laugh, I might get fired. And my response was just, I said, fuck it. I walked straight into the, I just walked away. And once he walked away, I walked away. I went to the back and I was like, I told my uh, MOD that we have a fucking situation. And he came up to the front, smelled it. It's like fuck, mark down the poopery. But yeah, <laughs> I I don't even. Uh, God, I don't even know. I don't even know how. Why why did that happen? He was. I have a feeling that dude was probably saving that one for like, like a special occasion. Like somebody's gonna <laughs> watch this. All I, all I'm saying is he might have powered it up too, you know, walked around a little right. bit and got it charged. And you know what? He was, he was he was he was very annoyed. He was it. very annoyed because we weren't open. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was literally uh, nine or I'm sorry, it was ten oh one, and he was knocking on the door at nine fifty nine, and then we opened them at ten oh one, and he's like, "Y'all late." 
Wow. And I was like, okay. And then he fucking gassed the entire store and left. Speaking of zombies. Continue. Today marks the 23 years since Star uh, Star's Alpha Team first took shelter in the Spencer Mansion in the uh, Ar uh, Arkley Mountains. Arkley. Happy Arkley Mountains. Happy anniversary, Resident Evil. 23 years ago. Jesus Christ, I feel old. Big claps all around. Yay, yay, yay. yay. It's not as impressive as the sharding story. Ugh. But. <laughs> Definitely not as shitty either. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So. I got nothing to follow that up on, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh... You just killed the podcast. No, no, I'll, uh... Actually, I, I, do, I do have something to uh, bring up. So, oh, go you've ahead. been here... This is mainly for Tony, because he'll know what I'm talking about more than you will, G-dubs. But mm -hmm. you've heard about what happened to, uh... With old Vic Minangang. Right? Old Vic McDerp derp Yes, you've heard about all the stuff going on with that, right? About the inappropriate touching and all the the girls complaining and stuff like that, or people feeling uncomfortable. Anything? Am I talking to myself now? Did we scare him away? I'm Am here. I, alone? <laughs> I just muted. Hey, I, you said, aren't, isn't this a Ryu thing? Well, this mm. is an everything, but you can interject if you know anything. I don't. I don't even know who but, Vic is. Okay, he is a voice actor, if most famously known. Sounds for like doing, Vic likes to touch people. Um, well, hold on. Man. Most famously known for doing uh, Full Metal Alchemist, he was Ed in both versions of Full Metal Alchemist. He was like one of my favorite characters in uh, Full Metal Panic. He was Kurtz Weber. Even though he was a small part in that anime, I still love the character because the character was like, "That's me." I'd be that he guy. Also, hmm? He's also the current voice of Broly in Dragon Ball. Yep. Z. Yep. Well, so with all the stuff going on with old Vic... Hey. Please. With Vic, apparently the Japanese voice actress for Bulma broke her uh, contract and refused to go to a convention because he was there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sitting here going, you know, guys, like, I, I under, okay, I understand both sides of this conversation, like, he was like, yay, love my fans, hooray, be goofy, fun, fun, fun. I don't think he actually meant anything harmful by it, but at the same time, he should have paid attention to what the fuck he was doing and or saying to the people that he was meeting. You know what, you know what, a celebrity. I think he was he was going to, okay, because he was voicing such a a prolific character, a character that meant a lot to a bunch of people and was like the gateway, and the gateway anime for a lot of anime fans back in that day. I think he was he was going through his rock star phase. Mm-hmm. Going through like, his rock star phase. Vic Mignogna was like legit probably the most prolific voice actor of that generation. And it's not like he's a terrible voice actor. The guy is really good. He is he can, very good. He can he can fit into his roles, whatever whatever role you give him, pretty well. And they wouldn't keep hiring him if he didn't. That being said, whenever you saw him in the con circuit, he was he's like extrovert to the extreme. He loves getting attention. Yes. He's one of those he's one of those folks that just thrives on the scene. You know he see him out there he's sometimes he'll sometimes he'll like bust into other people's panels in full cosplay and then the room will go crazy and then he'll just feed on that energy and he's just he just becomes this energy titan mm -hmm. and the fans fuel it and then they give him more energy and he, it becomes like a goddamn kaiju moment where he's where you gotta have an, an equally giant monster just to balance out the energy in the room and it got to a point where um, I don't think he was doing stuff maliciously, but it got to a point where he thought, well... I'm Vic motherfucking Mignogna. That's right. I'm Vic motherfucking Mignogna. My fans love me. They'll probably love me regardless. That being said, I don't think he did, he did anything as far as like... Yeah, I don't think he acted like an actual dog. 
about the situation. <laughs> Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson kind of got accused of that. Neil deGrasse Tyson did get accused of that stuff. I remember that story. Um, not, nothing's not really happened since mental. then. Um, he, in fact, one of the accusations was this woman was made uh, uncomfortable by him because um, she had apparently the solar system tattooed on her arm. It was a sleeve. And as Neil would, he looked for Cuba. Or Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. He looked for Pluto. <laughs> because, you know, he killed Pluto. Yes. And uh, he, it, this involved him lifting up the sleeve of her shirt in front of hundreds of other people. And she claimed that uh, that was sexual assault, which uh, objectively isn't. I don't... Right? I mean... No, if, if, not, if the person I, I, knows that... I mean, honestly... Did she stop him? No. Okay. Did she say, no, don't do that? I don't know. She went with it, and the entire crowd clapped, I, and I, he, I just... I hate to say it at that point. It, it's, 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 it's not. I mean, uh, she had, it, it is a very, 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 like, sharp edge with this, because in one, you know, in one moment, we could just be... Uh, a man could just be hitting on a woman and not getting the clue, and then it could turn around to, oh well, he, you know, he was sexually assaulting me. I, Dude, I I'm get, thankful I'm, I'm not I, single I and I'm in a relationship, man. I'd the, go to fucking doing. jail. Um, <laughs> speaking of smelly shit and well, kind hold on, of, hold on, hold on, hold on, we're not done yet. Okay, don't, don't fucking segue hold that, hold on that, hold, my hold, podcast. Hold that segue. All right, okay. You got two, motherfucker. You gotta have to wait. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You know what you you know what you know what you do what Vic did it and give me the green light. How's that? That's fine. oh wow. That's right. I'll give you the green light. You're my bitch. Anyways, so here's here's a rather fascinating Fucking dictatorial tidbit. podcast. Uh, here's a little fascinating tidbit that me and Ty Tigel uh, fucking love. Did you know who he voiced? Like his first voice role was Ty. Who? Vic Mignona. Vic. Uh... Hmm. Are he you was, talking like before, like Funimation, or was this like after Funimation? This was his first ADV dub debut ADV. role. ADV, oh ADV, wow. yeah. Okay. God. Okay. Um. Sh shit. That's that brings up way too many names. Um. Nah. Just go ahead and tell me for the sake of time. He was Vega in Street Fighter Two V. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He played Vega. He played Vega. <laughs> what he was, the hell? Yeah, he was Akita in Martian Successor Nadesco. Wait, Vic was Akito? Uh, uh, yeah. Empty cans. Empty Go cans into the recycling, recycling bin. bin. Akito? Yes. No, no, Akita. Akita. Hmm. Different oh, character. Oh, hey, hold on. I have to. Okay, I have to think about that one. But go ahead. Yep, Keep going. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see what else he he was in Gasaraki. He was Colonel Ogo, uh, Ogawa, uh, Generation Growl. He was the uh, orphan. He was Cox and Light Lee, Princess Nine, Steel Angel, Steel Angel, Angel. I can English Angel Karumi. Steel Angel Bully Karumi. Man. He was Wolf in Excel Saga, which is an amazing anime. If anybody's never seen it. I mean, Noir, Roxafon, Rune Soldiers, uh, Sayuki, Full Metal mm -hmm. Panic. He was Kurtz Weber, Pony Boy, and Barrett. Mm -hmm. Pony Man is still my favorite. I mean, Kurtz Weber I love, but Pony, 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 Fuma, 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 Fuma. I mean, he has done a metric shit ton since 1999 when he started voice acting. It, it makes me sad to see this happen, but at the same time, like, I... This is like a dangerous bleed here, you know? It's like, what do you say? He should have paid attention. He should right. have been he, better than that. Him being, him being, him knowing that he was a, he's a public face at that point, he should know the better than to be that physical with his fans. Yes. And in 2019, wouldn't you think, you know, you'd be cautious as well? I mean, that's fair. Oh, yeah, me too, man. Well, apparently this is one of those things that's been going on for years. Like, a uh, lot of people were like, he made me very uncomfortable. Regular Bill O'Reilly type of deal. 
I met Vic. I, I've, I've met him a couple times, actually. I met him at AWA years and years ago, and it was right when Full Metal Panic, not Brotherhood, the actual, you know, Full Metal Panic, was just being aired, dubbed, and I stood there and argued with him for, like, 20 minutes about how he sucked. <laughs> and he was fantastic at... He didn't... He, he 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 argued with me. He didn't get offended. He was like, I don't now. Yeah. Now now this is why it doesn't suck. And then, you know, listening to my debate, it was it was great. It was great because we were standing there after the closing ceremonies and nobody really knew who he was. Nobody approached him while we talked. You know, he was like this sparkly Dear God, I thought he was gay the first time I talked to him. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie because he was like so sparkly and floaty. He, he has a he has a very metro appearance. Yes, yes, there we go. Very metrosexual, but it's it was a, he was a really nice guy. You know, we shook hands and gave him a bro hug and went on with my day. And that was like one of the coolest things I've you know had to, dealt with it with anybody of any celebrity, you know, status ever. It was cool. But he I don't think I've to stop, uh... being a dude. <laughs> stop fucking up. Stop fucking up. Yeah. Man. Stop fucking up. I mean, <laughs> shit. It's so weird to. It's so weird that, uh, you know, we find ourselves commenting on these situations that a lot of time don't really, you know, happen behind closed doors between two people, and it's just it's weird that we caught like you know it's weird that some people get. It's horrible that some people get falsely accused, mm. but it's really fucked up that, I don't know, I feel like it's the people who aren't honest about it that f really fuck it up for the people who can be honest about it. Uh, yes. All right, like, I mean, if it's the people, if someone actually does make this up or, you know, have you guys ever heard Jive Turkey story? No. Uh, he got, he got falsely accused and he really? was snuffed out in court. Yeah. Um, it's on one of the first episodes of the podcast, uh, White Boy. It, yeah, it's uh, clickbait as fuck. It literally says, I think it's, uh, I think it's literally Jive's rape story. Um, wow. And um, it's just, it's so a shame because a lot of times this shit actually happens and the peop you know, victims involved just don't say anything. Yeah, it's... And it's just, it's fucked that, uh, you know, they don't. It's it's that's the weird that's the part that makes it all, this whole thing uncomfortable, like when it's true and these people have held have held it inside for years and years, until like just recently they feel that they, they've gotten the courage to speak up to it. People are legit gonna ask questions like, "What took so long? Why did you decide to wait twenty x years um, for you to come out and speak about this person?" Um, and then. And then when you get to that, when you get to that point, the people start to question, you know, their motives. Like, are you are are you doing it for the money? Does this because you're trying to sue this person? Do you want to try to just ruin their career, or are you just trying to find some closure? What's going on? What's going on behind the scenes? And the truth of the matter is, unless you were personally involved in that kind of situation, no one's gonna know. I mean, yeah. It's just, it's so crazy that it's such a, uh, it's such a conversation, you know? Yeah. It is. The yeah. last thing you'd expect to see pasted all over, you know, uh, national news. That being said, my boy Johnny Depp was finally absolved. I know, thank God. Right? <laughs> that was the most absurd thing ever. I'm, I'm like, dude, you do not see the bruises on his face? What happened to Johnny Depp? His his wife has been abusing him for years. His ex wife has been abusing him for years, and, and she's been blackmailing him to keep quiet, saying that like it's been the reverse for for the whole, for the whole sit entire situation. Yeah, so he's been blackmailed into you know to keep him quiet about it. And, and how how did he get? Uh... I think he just came out, and everybody believed him because it was obvious. You can go back and look at old pictures of him and see the bruises on his face and shit. Actually, she confessed. She did. Oh, okay. Wow. Hey right guys, now. I'm an asshole. Um. <laughs> okay. 
No, no. Her, I was, no. <laughs> By your admission, uh, okay. <laughs> no, we, it's we, it's we, 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 Johnny it. Depp. Would be an asshole. It's fine. Johnny Depp is interesting because I mean he like if you look at some of his earlier interviews he said you know I'm never going to be the big mainstream actor. Um, his life actually oddly and I know Kelly's going to kill me if I try going on a Hunter S. Thompson rant because he's listening to too many of them, but. Uh, his life's a lot like Hunter's. I mean, he kind of hates a lot of the big fame he has, and he said it. Like, you know, the Jack Sparrow thing made him so mainstream and on the front of every cereal box that he kind of had to stop doing the small stuff. Because, mm. I mean, yep. have you ever looked at early Johnny Depp stuff? Like, not just, like, oh, before yeah. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Like, it was whatever the dude wanted. Yeah, it was It was very experimental back then. Okay, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt this for a second. Sorry, okay. but yo, camper time. Twenty months in a row, man. I appreciate the the continuing support and everything. You were beautiful and awesome, man, and I love your face. Uh, sorry, there's no notif notifications on, but you know we're trying to do, we're recording, so I kind of killed the the um, the notifications and stuff like that. But dude, thank you again for the, the 20 months man that's almost two years that you've been subscribed to this channel and just been part of this channel man i i i don't even know i can't i i can't even i don't even know what to say man you're awesome you can't you cannot even i i cannot even you're 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 freaking awesome dude freaking awesome all right continue i apologize <laughs> oh you're good oh, fuck that. Um... i don't apologize fuck that man we got to represent this dude <laughs> Everybody, oh, tell tell Campertown how fucking love, awesome man. he is. <laughs> Campertown, I love you, even if you give me a shit ton of shit. Um, but yeah, no, that that that's just a random tidbit on Johnny Depp, um, on Captain Jack Sparrow. God, this you hear they're the they're they're steaming ahead. Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh yeah. The they're ste they're steaming ahead with those movies. The, 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 Disney. Will milk a franchise. I mean, we're getting Toy Story four for crying out loud. They should have stopped at store Toy Story three because Toy Story three gave us the best closure. It, it was, gave us the perfect ending. It did. They they were all with a new kid and happy, and Andy grew up, and and we all cried and got scared during the whole like f f incinerator scene and all of that stuff. It was it was amazing. You know, you, you were like, I don't, don't die. You guys can get out of here. And then the fucking aliens saved them. It was awesome. Everything legit came full circle in that movie. Mm -hmm. What the hell else are you going to do from that point? I don't know. I'll watch it. They're going to get my money eventually. <sighs> or not. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, fuck, that's, that's what's going to happen to Star Wars. And the Avengers. And we all know it. See, I initially supported George Lucas selling Star Wars when he, you know, with my theory or my advice for him, which was to sell it to them and just have a stipulation that Kelly and I make all the decisions. Yep. And then we'd hire the most informed Star Wars nerds to Absolutely. handle it for us as we sit on the pile of money, but um, he never responded to my email. I know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's just like, is that really going to be the fate for stuff like Star Wars and all the it is, Avengers it stuff? It is, because you know, you know Disney wants to get that sweet, precious Star I, Wars money, and as, as Star Wars fans, we're going to be those idiots who keep paying it, because we want to see more Star Wars! And the thing that sucks is it's just like, I stacked the Star Wars section at work, right? Because I'm in charge of, when you're in the cafe, you do everything in the pop culture section. Mm -hmm. And um, I do the Star Wars, and it's like, oh my god, so much of this shit just isn't even canon. They just took it all out, you know? know. All the books, all the it cool shit sad. that's happened. All the expanded lore. God. I, I know it's still there, and it, you know, in the long run, it doesn't. But it's only matter, there to us. It's only there to it's, us, man. It's there, and it's just. It, God dang it, man. <sighs> what the hell is going on in the CW universe, Kelly? I don't know, but I have a very long rant about what's wrong with the CW universe on, like, the first or the second episode of this. Go back and watch it, because I don't think I can replicate it. All I know is. 
Supergirl's getting too damn political, and Flash is like, fuck that. We're going to have Gorilla Grodd and King Shark fight each other. Okay? We're having a goddamn kaiju battle. You can keep that political bullshit somewhere else. Okay? Fucking let's do this. And I love the Flash for it. But they're Super canceling Arrow. Thank God. Hero. Yes. Arrow, that, Arrow's ending, yeah. Yep. Thank God, because it was terrible. Yeah. That was really, that was an awesome eight or so years for an Arrow fan to have to sit, or a Green Arrow fan to have to sit through. I mean, that first season when he's murking every one, like he's fucking desperate. You know what? I'm not going to go on this rant, because you know what? There's at least six CBN episodes that's just my fucking brace face spitting into the cam about it. So yeah. I, I, there's, it's, it's, it's I, the worth, white it's anger, the white it. anger is going over my vision, and I don't, I, fuck it. Um, it's not worth the, yeah, not worth the time, man. Not worth the time. I just, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know what's going on, but I, I will say honestly, Flash is holding it down until uh, Legends of Tomorrow starts back in April, and honestly, Legends has been holding it true, man. They're like, all right, so we got. Sarah Lance, who's gay, or bi, or doesn't care. I'm not sure yet, but she likes girls mostly. We got Constantine that really doesn't care who he sleeps with, just as mm. long as you're down. And we got mm, mm, uh, Mickey, who is the ultimate male chauvinistic pig that actually has a really soft core, but you got to get through the beer and the anger and the trauma and the PTSD to get to it, and he's the most amazing character in that show. I don't care what anybody says. Then you got the straight white bread Ray who is just the most wholehearted schmuck in the world in love with Noah Dark or N Nora Dark excuse me and you got Nathan and all these other characters that are, are all around just really good characters and their shows like you know what this season we're gonna fight a unicorn that vomits rainbows rainbows and a fairy godmother <laughs> and it's like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Superheroes, superheroing. And we're going to give Mick a three-tittied, six-foot-something, odd-tall, blue alien chick to sleep with. It's amazing. I love, it's I love when amazing. people... I love when people do what they're supposed to do with shit. Uh, embrace another, the crazy! Embrace the crazy. Another one, fucking Wolfenstein 2, when, who I believe your wife is named Anna in that game as well, right? Mm -hmm. Or Anya? Anya. Anya? Anya. Anya? Anya? Yeah. When Anya has two shotguns, comes in, throws a grenade, <laughs> and her fucking naked, pregnant body gets covered with Nazi blood, we all got that awkward nerd boner, and god damn it, good on the people at Bethesda, because that's what you need to be doing with that IP. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Yes. Long Who cares? Wolfenstein. Who cares about political correctness? Let's kill some fucking Nazis. Which is so ridiculous that was even ever a headline. Yeah, that, that, that hurt my feelings. And, 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 yeah, I right, fuck. And these, and these Nazi fucks today, they would not survive a real Nazi. I'm sorry, these guys are fucking jokes. They they would all be disposed of immediately and, and Bunch of posers. Further, oh, they would they further. would not make the brass of the Nazis. I mean they're they're Nazis because people hate them on Twitter for it, not because they're either sadistic fucks or people who need to do what they have to do because, you know, they'll have yeah. themselves and their family killed by the government. Yeah. They're Nazis because they feel like they're being replaced. Like, come on, dude. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Rommel would not... Uh, I, I don't think uh, these people would be hanging out with Rommel if they were in the 40s. And fuck them for wanting to be living in the 40s and be a Nazi. You know? Those, those people disgust me. Those, they're, here, they're just ridiculous. We're uh, here trying to get our moon base together, and you guys are stuck in the past. Come on, man. Catch yeah, up. I know. Can we, right? can we... I mean, at, at some point, it's like you're off the ship or you're not. What, what are you? What are you contributing? Are we going forward? Are we going backwards? What's up? <laughs> no, Pick a side and go. These people. These what? people. These yeah, people are stupid. Um, yeah. So what? Speaking uh, of the past. What's up? That's right. Segway time is my time now. Do it, Tony. Segway yeah, this yeah. motherfucker. Do it, sirs. I want to talk about bringing 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 back the good parts of the past. I'm talking about. Bill and Ted's third movie. Woo! Bill and Ted Excellent. face the music. Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter just released. They recently released a trailer 
where it was just them talking about the movie. But and they got the go ahead. They got they did get the go ahead. Filming is going on, is going through. But guess what also came with that trailer? A hmm. release date. Did I miss the release date? Oh my god, when's the release date? August twenty first next year. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not too it's, far away. It's What's... coming. What makes me laugh about those movies is you go back and watch them. They're terrible movies, but they're so much fun. They are movies of their time. Like they, they if you are. were if you were a child of the eighties or the nineties, those movies were made for you and no one else. Excellent, wild if were, stallions. If you were a I... metalhead, if you were into hair metal of any kind, that if you were movie, a stoner, were made for you. If you were a stoner. Those movies were made for you. And what's first great time? Not first time stoners. I ever ate a pot cookie. That was the fucking. That was the movie that was on. Excellent. That was, that was the movie that was on. I... And, re and remember, everybody, be excellent to each other. And, and party on, dudes. <laughs> fucking. And you know what they need to do? And I stand by this. They need to do this because Rufus is dead. Because um, George Carlin, God rest his soul, even though he wasn't Catholic anymore, is gone. They need yes. to perpetuate the Doctor Who joke that is in that movie, and that is they need to have a guy show up, another comedian. I, I'm not even sure who to do it. Like, Christopher Titus, I think, would be fucking hysterical as it. Um, show up and go, I'm Rufus. And they're all like, what? Whoa. Rufus, why do you look so different? And he's like, well, in the future, your songs inspired us to actually extend our lives by transforming us into new bodies as we pass on. We call it reincarnation. No, no, it should be, it should be. We found an alien technology that goes in the back of your neck. No, 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 no. Not, not altered carbons, but. No, no, speaking of <laughs> Hold on, hold on, we'll get to that one in a minute. Oh, because that there's something there. There's something oh, there, and I can't wait for it. But, you know, I, they, they should perpetuate the shit out of that joke and have fun with it. And I am I am, am excited to see this movie because what's scary is, like, Alex Winters and Keanu Reeves have actually been working for, like, the last, what, 20, 30 years since that movie came out to make another one. They've kept in contact and stayed friends. Yeah. Regardless of how big Keanu Reeves has gotten, he's like, dude, this is my friend Alex. Whoa. Whoa. And 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 they they've been working to get somebody to make the third movie for them and they finally got it. I don't know why we're so excited about this, but I am so stoked for it. <laughs> because the, because I, we, you, you know exactly why we are stoked for this movie. Because this is the movie where we finally get to hear it. The, the song, song that creates the future that was predicted in the first film. Yes. This is where they finally make that song. The song that inspires everybody to be excellent. <laughs> I got the uh, um, Wayne's World pops. Nice. Wayne's World. Great Wayne's time. World. Excellent. excellent. All right, what else is... you got, Ty? <laughs> uh, speaking of nostalgia, uh, we got, I got some weird news concerning another nostalgia point that's uh, coming back from the past. You guys know He-Man, right? Of course. Master of the Universe. Prince big Adam. muscular dude. Could punch a hole in a, a hole in a canyon. I am familiar. Well, we're getting another He-Man movie, but uh, you'll never guess who's going to be playing the lead role of the titular character. Pray tell who is. Now, I'm not much of a TV person these days. Hell, most of my entertainment either comes from Netflix or YouTube. But uh, apparently, they're in talks with a guy known as Noah Centineo, or Centine Centineo, to play the role of He-Man. Okay. And I'm and like I like I discussed with you earlier, Zord. I I'm browsing through this guy's IMDb page. What I've the through fuck? It up and down, and I have no idea who this kid is. He, but he's he looks like a cute Insta boy that girls freak out about. How is this he? Name? Right. I mean, right. yo, listen, listen. <laughs> it's 2019. Computers can do a lot of shit. 
okay? Oh, no, oh, no, no. I mean, no. fucking Leia wasn't even there the last Star Wars movie. I'm listen, not saying something can happen, but... Listen... This he, looks hard. He's gonna he's gonna need to hit that gem harder than uh, Josh uh, Swollen hit <laughs> for Cable. I'm talking he's gonna have to go ahead and invest in some training with Arnie. Or go ahead and call up Dolph Lundgren and say, You need Dolph. to call up Joe Rogan or something and get on what he's on. Because, like, I, I'm not seeing it right now. <clears throat> he's but like, I believe up, in you. No, you, know, you know who he needs to talk to to get super jacked for the role? Carrot Top. Have you seen Dude, Carrot Dude, he is Top? ripped. That is Carrot, ridiculous. Carrot Top, Carrot Top did it with steroids, <laughs> though. Carrot, like, Carrot I, Top is one of the I, most I, shameless I, fucking don't. bulkers in history. Like, he just he showed care. up, like, Dude, nine months jacked. later. Fucking no huge. Reason. Carrot Top. Yes, no, 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 no. He's uh, jacked for a reason. It's called TRT. <laughs> That dude has had so much plastic surgery done, it's disgusting. He oh lives, man. He lives 20 minutes oh away from me. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Really? He, yeah, Carrot Top. Carrot Top lives in, uh... Fuck it, I got... Or, uh, actually, no, I don't want to swat Carrot Top. <laughs> he lives in a... He lives, uh... In a town near me. There you go. Just, that's, well, there, that's, that's perfect. Leave it right there. On a, on a very nice lake. Um, so... Uh, fucking... Have we uh, have we seen the Hellboy trailer? Uh, we have. Good lord, he's jacked. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> does does he not like have anything else to do with his he's life? Fucking carrot top, he's man. Jokes for prop comedy. Apparently, he likes to get buff. What's up? <laughs> what what is this shit? I'm I'm like legitimately upset at how buff he is. <laughs> Nobody that ugly should have that good looking arms. Right? Uh what yeah. fucking hell. Well have you guys have you guys even like obviously I'm a massive wrestling fan. Have you guys sure. seen fucking Ben Askren? I have no clue who that is. Oh my god. Oh my god, right. Becky. Listen, he's an amazing wrestler. He's gonna take over the fucking UFC. But it doesn't make oh, sense. Oh, Cause oh. I mean, dude, even in college when he was winning NCAA titles. He had a fucking dad bod. He still has a dad bod. Just look. Whoa. This is one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet, and he looks like that. Wow. And I love it. I love every bit of it. He looks like a... What's, what the hell is that guy's... He looks like a jacked up version of... um, Of a... Uh, what's that, that is, guy from the Lonely Island? That is uh, Andy Sandsberg. Sandberg, right. <laughs> that, that is some serious Jufro going on, though. I, I Good respect, lord. I respect that Jufro. He wears it proud, though. He he certainly does. He, he certainly is a does. badass. He would mess. He he'd fuck carrot top up. That's for sure. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> fuck carrot top. Up. Just throw some meth on the ground. He'll be fine. Well, hey, hey, we've never seen <laughs> carrot top fight. That's true. Or have have you seen carrot top fight? I, I have haven't. Not. Those muscles might not be a hundred percent for show. That that's very true. That's they're a hundred percent fake, just like his face, though. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, his face is. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So it is, it is kind of rubbery there. Kelly, what do you think of Anthony Mackie taking on uh, Takeshi, Takeshi Kovac in I season think, two? I think it's fucking amazing. I think that what they're doing with, uh, uh, what is the show called, Altered Carbon, or with the Takeshi yes. Kovac um, series, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, the 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 idea in the books is it doesn't matter what you look like it just matters what's in there so no matter what body he's inhabiting he's still K- Takeshi Novak Novak Kovac Novak. Kovac thank you Kovac I've read I've, re- I've read all the books and I can't even say his name right so I mean in the second book it has been 60 years since the events of Altered Carbon so he's left Earth and everything and he's like working for a mercenary group and he's in this high performance combat body that they built that they clone and, and grow for combatants on this planet. <clears throat> and he's a black dude. and A black dude with a Japanese first name. What the fuck? And he was Actually, the, dude, he's, he... he's Hungarian and Japanese. Yeah, he's oh, Hungarian wow. and Japanese, and then he was in well, see, so... the Aryan body, quite frankly. Well, that's yeah, quite yeah, the genetic and, 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 then, and then, yeah, now he's an Anthony well, Mac body. Harlan's world is was settled by 
Japanese Hungarian uh, settlers. Mm-hmm. So he, you know, his mother was Japanese, his father was Hungarian, so he got Takeshi Novak, Kovacs. Speed Kovacs. and strength. Yep. And he, um, in the, in Altered Carbon, as a way to punish one of the detectives, they took the body of the detective's boyfriend, more or less, and put Takeshi in there to use to solve a crime. And to fuck with the detective. And to fuck with the detective. Now, the the actor they got to play Takeshi in the first season was uh, Joel Kinnaman, the guy who played RoboCop in the reboot in 2014. And Joel Kinnaman's like six foot two, and he got stacked for that role of, of uh, Takeshi. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he got really stacked. And I think it, 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 he did a great job. He showed he was an absolute badass no matter what. He was like, yeah, I'm a badass. I, I saw comments on a lot of the sci-fi groups that I follow about getting annoyed at the part where he walks out of the center where he got tortured and he had the bag there and he was all like... Rrr. Oh, fuck you! That was the best moment in the show. Yes, he's like, yes, we get it, you're a badass. Yes, that's exactly the it reason why they did it. It had nothing to do with the actor. That was all... That That is that is the Takeshi thing to do. Yes, absolutely. And I love the My Little Unicorn backpack. That is the most hysterical fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's such a cheap knockoff, and it's, it's so fucking perfect. so great, so great. But yeah, no, I am I am excited to see Anthony Mackie play Takeshi. I'm excited to see what they do with the story, because I, I already know the storyline for Broken Angels. And I'm, I'm just all around excited for this new season. I cannot wait to see what they do with it. I, and I, in season I'm three, ready. he's going to be in Carrot Top. And uh, no, actually, in, <laughs> in season three, in the fourth, what? in the third book, he starts off in a synth's body, and then he ends up going into a body that looks more like his original body, but not more more Hungarian, less Japanese. Okay, but are you actually telling me that if you were living in the Fallout 4 universe and you saw Carrot Top, you wouldn't think he was a synth? Dude, I would... I would. <laughs> I think he was I a would, I synth. would think he's a synth. I'm not going to lie. I, I would say he's a synth. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'd say, my man, you look plastic. What's, what's the matter with your face, man? <laughs> Too many well, Botox injections, bro? Right. <laughs> man, see, that was, that was one, like, very Fallout moment in Fallout 4 when you walk into Diamond City and the dude's brother just gets shot in the head and he wasn't even a synth. <laughs> and you're like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. But, no, I, I am super excited. I'll be right back. Talk, minions, talk. Oh, fuck, okay. Um... Mm, what to talk about? What the god carrot top is a fucking fascinating <laughs> you know if I were to sum up humanity uh if if you know I had to send like a couple pictures just a couple pictures to like an alien's email carrot top would be in there um Kim Kardashian would be in there uh hmm. D- Donald Donald Trump would definitely make the fucking list um well you do have to you do have to include the rise and fall of humanity yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get. Okay, so mainly we're on the fall with those three. Mm. Uh, who, who else would we have to alert uh, cosmic neighbors of? Um, of nuclear threats. Nuclear threats. Just the idea that humans like to. We just the fact that uh, the humans are pieces of shit. Let's see. Um... Pretty much, which is weird because like our viewers that we want more of are human, but. <laughs> I have a feeling that those people are going to agree with the previous statement. So, hey, well, yes, we're not we're not perfect. We're still very much a work in progress. No, and as Miley Cyrus said, you got to work it, right? Came in like a wrecking ball, dude. That I guy's fucking, dude. That guy's so fucking flatulence came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't get it out of my nose. Like I can't. And we've come back to it. <laughs> Dude, I, think, I, think I think about it. I think about it. It's just. So let me get this like, straight. You keep thinking about some other guy's fart. Dude, it just this. Look, okay. Dude, it was I so can, putrid. I can't. I. Fuck. I can. I can explain this perfectly. You know how when you were a kid, or uh, you've experienced something that was so traumatizing, that 
fast forward to your present day, certain things like smells, sounds, certain auto, certain certain cues. The optic just, of your parents fucking. Right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it'll just, it'll just immediately take you back to that moment. That's what T Tub's mm, going through right yeah, now. Yeah. 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 I know. I know. Just never be able to unsee that shit. <sighs> oh shit. Now, see, has that's, that has that happened to you as a father, Kelly? What's it like from the other end? It's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Opens door, you know, in mid stroke. Hi, how you doing? What are you guys doing? Don't worry about it. Go back to bed, baby. We're wrestling. Oh fuck. Now, now we're like we're having sex. Go away, and our daughter's like, "Oh God!" It's well, fucking like, hilarious, man. Well, that's because your yeah. daughter's like what, twelve, thirteen now? Yeah, twelve. Yeah, she can She's handle 12. it. Oh man, um, now see, I, I've sharded myself once, and that was it was on stream. Even better. <laughs> wow. A couple years ago, I was playing uh, CS:GO with somebody, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, "Oh man, I got a fart," and I'm like. Pfft. I'm like, excuse oh. me, guys, I'll be right back. I just sharded myself. And I got up on camera and just walked away. <laughs> now, was it like, was it such a horrible one? It ran down your leg and you... Dude, I had to, I had to, I had to oh, cheat. Luckily, my on. underwear was solid. You had to shower. Uh, my underwear was solid, so it caught it. Yeah, But yeah, needless to say, there was a full clothing change, and... You know, baby wipes involved. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to go. Through this. Wait, hold up. You didn't, like, you didn't at least just, like, put your back to the, the spigot of the shower and go for it? or Baby wipes, bro. Baby wipes, yeah. Honestly, you know, I started listening to, uh, I've always listened to H3H3, but I started taking his vice, advice on wiping, and baby wipes really is the way to follow it up. Never, yeah. never flush. Don't flush baby wipes down the toilet. Just throw them in a trash can. Dude, there I fucking... Some... There are some flush. ones. There's Do not ones. use Get the them. flushable ones. Those are Don't. terrible for septic systems and or plumbing, anything like that. They do not degrade nearly as fast as toilet paper. Throw Kelly, let me tell you something. Can. Straight up. My condoms, any paraphernalia, <laughs> fucking wet wipes, it goes down that bitch. I just, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it goes down that a, uh, a novel concept. Take out the trash, GW. Yeah, but like, that will require like. Extra After any of those activities that I just <laughs> named, I just want to take a nap, not take the <laughs> trash out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I man, I'm just saying. I, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's just saying. <sighs> guys, you, hey, know, you know we've reached we've reached peak levels of comedy when we've reached toilet humor. That's right, toilet humor I, indeed. Actually, no, I can't share that story. That's fine. Don't worry oh. about it. But anything does go, by the way, GW. Anything does go. This is the Anything Does Go School of Mar Mixed Martial Arts podcast. Okay, but I just... I gotta say. Oh, shit. Okay. Never, did you guys change the spelling on Marshall? M-A-R-T-I-A-L. M-A-R-T-I-A-L. I thought you guys literally spelt it out Marshall. As, like, a joke. Oh. So no one would be confused. No one would think this is an MMA podcast. That's what you guys should do. I was like, they're not talking about MMA. And then I just, my brain must have, my brain must have put. Emotional. I mean, that's actually not a bad idea, Ty. All right, fine. All right, you're going to have to send me an updated image. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, next next time, you know, if, if you guys are going to have a guest on, maybe get him a little... I don't know. Don't, don't you have a picture of me, Kelly? Don't you have that little thing we made? Man, I don't know where shit is on any of my hard drives right now, man. Where are your stream elements, son? Go on. I, I, I took all the things that I thought were important off my old hard drive, and then I wiped that motherfucker. So have you had to completely redo your uh, Twitch, your OBS elements? No, actually. With uh, Streamlabs OBS... All that shit gets uploaded to the cloud, so all I did was log in with my uh, Twitter Do you have a Streamlabs account? Yeah. Okay, and that's like that's just what I gotta pay to get into streaming, right? Because I'm tired of my followers not showing the screen. They, like, my you, phone you rings, but that's to, all the recognition they get. You don't have to pay them. You just set up a, a source. 
It's really simple, oh, G-dubs. Oh, fuck. All right, well, I got to get off this old OBS. It sounds like I'm living in the past. Let's see, studio is still a solid, solid freaking thing, but Streamlabs OBS integrates Streamlabs and stuff like that. By the way, don't download it yet. I'm going to send you an affiliate a link so that way I get paid for you downloading it. <laughs> Sorry, get that money. Yes. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, so it's 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 actually really nice. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I turned around and I was like, hey, this this ain't that bad, man. This is nice. Y'all got something nice going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I, was, I was genuinely, genuinely surprised on how good it was. I uh, was shocked. Can you copy and paste elements from the old OBS to that? Yes, actually, you can. Fucking beautiful. There you go. There, there's, there's a link. I'm going to smash that and uh, bookmark it. And we're going to do it. All right. And you're going to get paid. How much do you get paid? Let's see. Like 350 Five, Four cents. Hey. Hey. Hell yeah. That's hey. almost a nickel. Yeah, yeah. Medal of Honor Airborne was a great game. I didn't play it. Damn. Yeah, that's awkward. You know what a great game is? I uh. Your mom? Huh? Oh. No, no, your sister, G-Dubs. Your sister. Oh, Anyways. okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh shit. Okay, so, uh, GameStop was having a sale. You know, four games for twenty bucks as long as they're under nine ninety nine. So I was like, all right, all right, all right, what the hell? Let's see what's good. So I picked up four games the other day. I picked up Uncharted 4, A Thieves' End, because I needed to cool. play it at some point, because I have the other ones. I have it's a Oni, badass game. Oni Chan Bara. Bara Oni Chan Bara? Yeah. The one. <laughs> you picked up that game? <laughs> yeah, and it's the one with the with the disc image where she's bent over, crouched with her legs spread, and then the, the CD part where the spins the CD is right in her crotch, which is hysterical. Wow. Yes, this and is then. A good game? It's hack and slash zombie. It's like it's a jerk fest. Let's be honest. Okay, it's it's it's, it's what it needs to be. And it's, nothing it's, more. It's, it's, it's dead or alive. If dead or alive was a hack and. Yes, I got Legend of K Anniversary Edition. Hmm. And uh, Aris Land, the legends, the leg, the warriors of the legend. I sent you a picture of the 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 game dish tag. If you look at your text messages, you'll see yeah. that I have a special edition of it. Hmm. Yeah, look at it now, and tell me, tell me what you see. Do 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 do. Looking up a text message on my phone. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> okay. Do you see it? Um, and by it, do you mean the three check marks? You, you mean the angry eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? I don't know, but whoever owned can it, I Can you send it to me? I gotta I'll, fucking see this. I'll send it to you. But whoever owned this game for me decided to give everybody angry eyebrows. <laughs> on top of the eyebrows they already have. Yes. What the fuck? It makes it so great. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they should be in the Tekken franchise. Right? <laughs> I'm never going to forget the time I had to buy Grand Theft Auto V again because I upgraded to Xbox One. Mm. And the game, I didn't notice it when I picked it off the shelf at uh, GameStop, but that thing reeked of weed so bad that when I opened it in the house, <laughs> when I opened it in the house, my mom was like, are what the smoking? fuck are you up to? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. What, what are you this? doing in your spare time? What is this smelly stuff I smell? I don't I don't support marijuana. Okay. Alright. I can't smoke it because I'm asthmatic, so <laughs> Oh god, that must fucking suck. Oh well, I just blew that roll. Anyway. Um <laughs> Hashtag I not a, not a narc. Um I stopped smoking in 2003. Sorry, right, just move on to the vape nation. Vape nation. Vape nation. You realize you can vape it, Kelly. I know, but they drug test us at work, so I'm not about to lose my job. 
<laughs> oh, what a fucking drag. Is that going to happen to me? Probably. Probably. Depending on what you're doing. I mean, like me, I, I operate a heavy, you know, I, I, I operate heavy equipment, so they don't want us high as fuck. And I don't blame them. What narcs? Anyway, um, to work one day. Hey guys, how's it get? What's with those cups? <laughs> no, I'm good, guys. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm alright. I'm I'm alright. Thanks. I'm cool. I'm cool. Are you cool? Yeah, yeah you cool. Yeah, I'm the I'm coolest cool. barista in all the land. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh God, I have my last quarter of high school. Don't worry. Someday you're gonna miss it, really badly. Yeah, you will. I'm never gonna miss the fucking homework. I'm gonna miss not doing shit all day mm. and wasting my time. Mm. Right? Like you miss being bored because you're fucking, you you know you get so stressed with life and stuff. I get that, but mm. it's still pretty fucking boring. No. <sighs> and and I mean I mean you guys. Ah, uh, God, they, they like to throw in these, like, three, four-hour masses that are just... That's because uh, you're going to Catholic school. Yeah, well... Does that mean he gets to... I don't if... consent to it. <laughs> if, if he's naughty, he gets beat by the nuns and sometimes the father. <laughs> Sister, no. No, don't beat me. Anyways, I mean, what what else you got, Tony? I was actually gonna mention something about Catholic schoolgirls, but hey, we went the other direction. Yeah. No, no, I'll I'll talk about I'll talk about my classmates. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so in order of inches, which one had the shortest skirt? Right. And what, the, and the what am I looking at? Huh? Oh, what do you mean? Thought we were talking about your classmates, man. Oh, oh, oh. Shut oh. up, D-dubs. Jesus Christ, man. They, they, all, they all just get yelled at for it all the time. It's just constant. It, it's, that's fucking amazing, Kelly. He gave everyone angry eye. What a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, okay, so you got four games. What are the other two? I, I already went over that. You, you went over all four? Yeah. Ours Land, Ours Land, Oni uh, Uncharted. And what was the third one? Uh, or what was the last one? Uh, Legend of K Anniversary Edition. There you go. And how much was all that for? 20 bucks. Jesus. Yeah, not a bad deal. Couldn't pay you to go back to school, Camper Time. I, 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 I'd like to go back and with the knowledge I have now to unfuck up some certain situations before I get out of school. But, Same. You know, that's about it. That's about it. I was awkward as fuck in school. I'm still awkward as fuck. So Dude, we're nerds. We were, we were awkward through all of school. Yeah, it, no matter what, we're fucking awkward. Yeah. Right, like, we <clears throat> we were at spring break, and, you know, the quote-unquote popular kids were partying and stuff, and it was just kind of like... Yeah. Yeah, let me put it this way. We got invited to one thing and didn't get invited the rest of the week. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was never <laughs> invited to a party. I've never been to an actual party. I've been to. I've never been to an actual. I've never been to an actual high school party. Only parties I've been invited to were family related. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But you know what? I've had some. I've been to. I've been to one of Tony's family family reunions. (laughs) Tony, do you have one of those uh, family reunions where everyone has? Listen, like the one. The one. Everyone has what now? Fun. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. See, if you're lucky enough, because some 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 fucking families they don't get fucked up in front of each other. I, I don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, if you're lucky enough to be in a family where you can party with them, you don't really need to go to parties. Just fucking wait for Christmas. Right. Yeah. Wait for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July. Somebody's exactly. Party, and whatever. then you don't end up being an alcoholic. <laughs> fucking steal. No, you don't even have to buy the drinks if you. No, are, no, if you don't. They're just always there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and there's always so many. <laughs> and if and if you're and if you're fu- and if you're lucky and your family drew the genetic lottery golden ticket, you don't have to worry about if the food's going to be good or not. No, because it'll true. always be good. Because people in your family know how to fucking cook. Right. That's true. I say that, that the, the one family reunion I've ever been to with Tony, 
because he took mm-hmm. me to the family a family reunion. It was a small one, like a lot of people up in Georgia, uh, down in Georgia. Uh, like I was, uh, I was the talk of the uh, party. He was a token white boy. Because I was literally the only white guy there. <laughs> They're like, you must be Chris. I'm like, what? How do you know me? <laughs> How do you know I must be Chris? And then I'm like, oh, never mind. I know why. <laughs> I have a similar story to that. It was at, um, where was I? It was at uh, my school my freshman year, which was a public school. I was in this one standard English class, and everyone just kept touching my skin. Because you know how, like, really pale white boys have that thing where, like, it leaves an imprint? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Arms, face, everyone was just like, what the fuck is this? Why does this happen to you? And I'm like, stop touching me! Stop touching me! (laughs) I'd be, I'd be like, because, like, I'm just a fucking nerd with a fro trying to get through school, right? In my ugly braces and shit, I had all this dentistry going on, and 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 we'd be taking a test, and like three hands would touch me, and I'd be like, "Stop, <laughs> dude." And then nothing. I chose the Catholic school where it happened more. No, what? Uh, no. <clears throat> to be honest, like <laughs> I understand that because throughout my entire like school life, yeah, damn near every teacher I've had has walked up behind me and started playing with my hair. <laughs> because... If it was a oh yeah, if okay. it was one thing, like Zord, like throughout his entire like um, post, I would say middle school life, mm-hmm. like he's been since then, ever since he got his first girlfriend, he's been really girly about his hair. Oh yeah, girly as shit. Like before then, he didn't really give much of a shit. He just combed it, maybe put it put it to the side, but he always kept it short back then. Mm-hmm. Now after, I am the vainest motherfucking person. Yes. About my hair. He he gets very Asgardian about his locks. Yep. Dude, I don't fucking blame you, man. I, I swear I by Odin's beard if you cut my hair. Please, sir, don't I wake cut my up, hair. I wake up in the morning and comb it down and put product in it just so the dean won't notice and that, so I don't have to cut it. Because yes. have you have you seen my hair right, lately, uh, Ryu? Mm-mm. It... How would you Jufro to the max, right? That's the only way to. He grows the Jufro. Oh dear. And honestly, I see why it's called a Jufro. People legitimately ask me if I'm Jewish. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> like I didn't think it was a thing. I don't think it's offensive, but now I understand why it's there. People right. straight up ask me. Are you Jewish? No. No. Why? Why do you think? Oh. Uh, why do you think I'm in, a Catholic? We're in school. Catholic school. Why would you think I'm Jewish? <laughs> No, I'm a fuck. Like a true Catholic, I'm an atheist. So, you know. Oh God. <sighs> so, um, let's see. Damn, you guys don't have a fucking Google Doc up of topics. You just raw no, dick dude, this we shit. Just, we just fucking throw it out there. We get a plan of a couple things we're gonna talk about, and then we ramble about shit that comes on our mind. That's about it, dude. There's there's no point in planning particularly hard for this because anything goes we gotta do uh, some cbn at some point we will we will, we mm. will. um there was something i was gonna say but i completely forgot what it was because of the shark story <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry did i just fuck the entire <laughs> did i just that one the podcast? Story basically just derailed our brains man yep yep <laughs> Dude, it, i i just uh I literally have a candle on a de- my desk right now that I just keep smelling. Like, smelling I just need to candles. cleanse, That's cleanse the drug, my guys. nostrils. All these millennials, all these tens, I guess they're called now, they're going to be snorting candles as the new challenge. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> technically, I learned the other day I'm not a millennial. Yes, you are, G-dubs. Okay, yeah, who the fuck decides who's what? Well, you were, you were, you were born right around the turn of millennium. I was born 2000. You were born in 2000? Yeah. You are literally a millennial. Okay, yeah. See, some people say that I'm not. And I don't know what the fuck... Who makes the rules? You know, who's who's got, like, the rule book on this shit? Is there an organization? Is there a pop government? Culture. It's just pop culture. It's just pop culture. Yeah, okay. Because it's pop culture. Technically, me and, me and Tony are... They, they, they say that we're millennials, but we're not millennials. But we like to say elder millennials. But we're also the lost generation. 
because we are the last generation to play outside without technology and the first generation to have technology. We are the, the people we are the people that grew up with both sides of it. No, oh, so the first part of your life stuff. We're the results of the baby boomers and the Pepsi generation. Yep. Yeah. Or Generation Y or X. Generation or X. We're gen- well, a Gen X is the, the generation before us. My brother is Gen X. Mm. Um, and so I think is one of my sisters. No, both my sisters are Gen Xs. But we're the hey, lost did generation. Did you ever see the Batman Ninja uh, anime? Oh, it's fantastic. It is anime as hell. It is anime as hell. Like, the giant Batman bat mech that was formed was, oh my god. I saw it happen and I was like, this is amazing. Why do I have a nerd boner right now? And it looked ex- almost <laughs> exactly like the animated series Batman. Yes, it was It was, It was. was fantastic. We were just talking about shows doing what they need to do with material and going all out, like what they're doing in Flash and stuff. Um, yep. I gotta say... I know you guys aren't huge fans of the Game of Thrones show. I'm actually my goal this summer is to read through the books so I can finally talk to Kelly about that stuff. Um, but uh, when they resurrected, uh, I think it was Viseron, when when the White Walker yeah. Walker dragon thing happened, it was it was a nerd boner. When the wall fell and the White Walker dragon came out of nowhere, it's just like okay, yeah, this is they're doing whatever the fuck they want, and I love it. <laughs> Embrace the crazy. Right. Just, Embrace that's, that's what you the gotta crazy. Do. I, I yeah. agree. I agree. Make it ridiculous. We, okay. Damn, so everybody's like, everybody's like, oh my God. Oh my God, the Christopher Nolan movies, for Batman movies were so amazing. They were the best Batman movies ever. Oh, oh my Jesus God. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. It was so realistic. Bitch, when I watch a Batman movie, I don't want realistic. I want some motherfucker in tights swinging through the buildings and solving crimes. I want him fighting the Joker, not not some sociopath that calls himself the Joker. No, I want, like, the fucking Joker, and I want him to be the Joker. I want to see fucking, um, what is his name, Jonathan Crane as the Scarecrow. I want to see all of that stuff. I don't want fucking Tom Hardy Bane. I want fucking Luchador Bane. I want the real Bane, okay? Yes. Okay. okay, so, listen, I'm definitely the devil's advocate on this, because I did like the movies. But I also hated them at the same time. And here's why. Where's Rachel? One, Bane. <laughs> One, yeah. Where's Rachel? That's, that's the first movie. That's all you need. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The second movie, I'm sorry. That's not the Joker. But whatever it is, it's fucking good. You got to give is. it that, Kelly. I mean, he, I, he, it he, is. Not. Ledger good. did he's, he's a, a fantastic villain, job. But he did a great job. As far job. as being a good Joker... Dude, yeah. I just I just looked yeah. at it. I was like, "There's fucking there's there's 52 Batman. There's there's 52 Batman, and uh, this is one of them. This is not. I refuse to ever call it Earth One, and they never indicated it. But no, that was not like the Batman that we know and love. I did appreciate all the comic book nods. I mean, Long Halloween got a shout out. Um, uh, Nightfall got a shout out. Like I did like that they went back to those classic Ooh. Batman stories and they used them. Hold on, I gotta uh, get a cup for it. Ooh, I broke the bat. Uh, but yeah, that is. You yeah, I... adopted the darkness. I was born in it. It was. It was. <laughs> it was better. That would break first. Your spirit or your body. <laughs> <laughs> it it was it was good in the sense that it was better than Batman versus Superman. Anything was better than that travesty. <sighs> God. I I'm sorry. Deathstroke versus Superman. You're right. You know. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong though. I do love Batflack though, because he played a more admirable you know Batman. Batman. Yeah. yeah. Christian Fale did. Just other than the fucking shooting people. Right. I I'm sorry. There were 50 cows on that bat mobile plane. Yeah. Yeah. There were fucking 50 cows. I don't believe Alfred's fucking loading them bitches up with rubber pellets because people were dropping. And then he stabs the Asian dude from Fast and Furious. What was that? <laughs> that man's freaking bloodthirsty in the, in the, the uh, these new movies now. And then the director, the director who did Watchmen, what's his 
Uh, sh- he did Watchmen. I think he did 300. Uh, Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder came out and he's like, well, this is a much more broken Batman. Okay, context. Now. What the fuck did we just see? Like, what happened to him? Okay, obviously Robin got beat to death with crowbar, but that's most Batmans. Yeah, yeah. We've we've seen we've seen Batman after after a Robin death. He makes and it. Even then, he never crosses that line. Even when the fucking time bubble erupts, and you know this thing happens and that thing happens, and we get the Red Hood. Like, the any time the bat has ever held anything even closely resembling a gun. Bullets don't come out of it. Exactly. Nope. And, um, shit, crap. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, the to, to completely side rail this conversation, but stay on the Batman point. You know, if they really wanted to make a good Batman movie, they would make it a detective story. Like, actual yes. fucking Batmaning. And not Christian Bale going, um, Actually, I think, I think that was what Batfleck was going to do after, um, after, uh, uh, not Suicide Squad. Um, Justice, Justice League? League. Justice League. Yeah, after Justice League, that is, that was the Batman movie that Batman was going to make, where it focused he... purely on his detective skills. I wish I they'd mean, have done Batman, it. They should have done it. He should have done it, man. Supposed to be in you know an apartment on a rainy night, fucking horrible murder scene. Don't cut corners. He's in the corner. No one knows he's there, and he's he's figuring out what the fuck to do. He's just not meeting, uh, you know. Gordon scanning something real quick and then running off. That's like, like literally the inner monologue and rebirth has done this really well. The inner monologue of Batman is so methodical and thinking through every single move. And you have to articulate that in a character. If you're making a movie, right? Cause that is Batman. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. You're like, not you know, wrong. when Batman's getting his ass beat Kelly and he's like, he's weak. Gotta go for the, you know, like, yeah. That like the, they could they did the that Sherlock shit Holmes treatment. exactly they did that in Sherlock Holmes and you know they did it quite beautifully they could do that for Batman easily yeah because Batman fucking draws parallels to Sherlock Holmes I mean have you seen that epic rap battle right <laughs> <laughs> oh god so I don't know Tag this was when I went and saw this movie we weren't you know we didn't communicate nearly as much because we were still slightly adolescent and life was life you know what I mean but mm-hmm. did you guys see and I'd lived in South Carolina so I lived on the other side of South Carolina so there wasn't much time for any of us to hang out but every once in a while um, yes did you any of you guys ever see Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back yes I have okay uh, G-Dubs have you ever seen it I, I haven't even heard of it, man. Okay, I, so do is... yourself a favor and find a copy of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back and sit down and enjoy the absurdity, because it has, it has Mark, ha- it has everybody in it. Okay, it has Mark Hamill in it as the cock knocker. Oh no, I've, I've I've watched this one night after the okay. cookie. Yes, I've seen this. Okay, so he, uh, Kevin Smith, had a heart attack like a uh, uh, year ago, and. Okay. He was like, I, I was laying there, and all I could think of was, I can't die until I make Jay and Silent Bob the reboot. And he, a year later, he is actually about halfway done filming Jay and Silent Bob the reboot. He got everybody back from the first, all the View Askew movies, which is his universe that he created for the movies. Mm. And he's filming Jay and Silent Bob the reboot. And I'm sitting here going, it made me think back to when I went to see Jay and Silent Bob strike back. I was in a movie theater with my friend Mark and Tommy and this girl that, well, Mark was dating and I was, you know, slightly infatuated with being a teenager. And But she was a friend for all of us, you know. we Complicated teenage bullshit. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta know who, who got the biscuit, though. None of us. Nobody slept with her. No one? Oh. No, there, it, was, it was too weird. After all, after Tony, like, Tony, after, Tony, no, no, Ryu did, Ryu no. did on the. No, he wasn't there. He wasn't part of this group. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't part of that group. He wasn't. That's no. The, that's the, dude, you're supposed to make it weird. Yeah, no one. You're no at one... the point where you're supposed to make things the weirdest. That way, you have story time later. Yeah, man. No one. No one fucking. No. Slung some dick. It was um. Like I said, complicated teenage bullshit, and. 
we were sitting in the theater and we finished, you know, the movie wrapped up. And then Afro Man's Because I Got High came on. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And none of us were high at the point at that point, but we didn't care. We were the only ones in the theaters to watch this movie. And we got into the front of the screen and just started dancing to the song. So there's this like silly ass memory of all four of us dancing like idiots in a movie theater at the end of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And I kind of want to go track down Mark, at least, because Tommy, well, Tommy could just die. And I do oh, not fuck. talk, to, we don't talk to Tanya anymore because, well, she made some decisions with her life that were stupid, and I don't want to waste my time with that. And uh, go see the, the reboot, man. Just, just chill back with my friends and go see the reboot with them. It would be a blast, but just always have that stupid memory of us dancing like idiots in the movie theater. There was so no real point to this. That we want, right? right there, there was no real point to the story except for to say that you know, Jay and Silent Bob reboot is almost done filming, so we should be able to see it next year, and I can't wait because it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck it. I agree with that. Right. Oh, I mean, shit. Yet. If worse comes to worse, we can just drag TW's ass up here, and we can all meet up in Atlanta and go see it together. What? When's it come out? I have no clue. It's still filming. Okay. Well, a, I mean, YouTube, well, bro. shit. I'll be a call. I'll be in college. Yeah. Make my own decisions. Ooh. And I'll actually be working more than one day a week. So maybe I can fucking pay for something. Hell yeah. Well, uh, he he's doing a road to reboot series yes. on YouTube, and it is fantastic. It is. It is fantastic. He's having so much fun doing this move of doing it. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> That's that. That's that. That's all I, I got to say. <laughs> um, the NCAA wrestling tournament was this past Saturday. Uh, story, bro. Tell us another one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, it was. It was pretty much. It was, actually, you know, there were a couple really good ones. Biggest is at 165, though. Uh, Lewis from Virginia Tech came in the eighth seed and won the entire damn thing dominantly. I love watching people do that. And yeah, that was that. On to my next story. Right. I fell down a rabbit hole, and it's a fucked up one. It's not fucked up. It's just it, they're twenty-five minute videos, and I, I hate myself a little more every time I what, fucking watch it. Hmm. What well, how deep does this rabbit hole go? And MRE, MRE reviews. Oh God, those. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that one, dude. The, wait, you fell down this hole though, right? I fell down the hole, dude. I these people them. open up MREs from like. Oh, yeah. A hundred. Once even 150 years ago, and they eat it. And it's fucking just... I, dude, I, mean, I dude, watched... They're, they're sealed, so, I mean, they're fine. <laughs> dude, the one, the one from the late 1800s, like, from 1898 or whenever the fuck? No, that's fucked up. And he only ate, like, a bite of it. But the fact that he even ingested... No, thank you. Yeah. And it's no, just this, you. It's this jacked ex-military guy that has this shirt that says a clean plate club. <laughs> he's just eating this old, old food. Fuck you. He's eating, like, Nazi MREs and just everything. It's 1942 just, oh my, World War II oh U.S. God. Army Field Ration CB Unit MRE Taste Test Vintage Medi Meal Ready to Eat. Oldest feud, f food review. 1945 Australian 24-hour operation ration 2, because you reviewed a first one. MRE review, vintage meal, ready to eat, taste test. What the fuck? Oh, that looks absolutely disgusting. Did he gain any Nazi magic after he ate the Nazi MRE? <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, was he able to resurrect head clear or something? Fair point, Camper Time. In 1890, we didn't believe in germs. I highly doubt MRAs were sealed properly to last 100 years. I don't know, but he's brave enough, man. Well, he's barely brave enough. The, we barely escaped the Black Death in England. That's that's very true. That's a, that's a valid point, Camper Time. Valid point. What do you guys think of uh, Jack Black's YouTube channel? Uh, I like... I'm in... You do not like it? You I don't like Jack Black? I don't like Jack Black. I think okay. it's fine. I'm enjoy I enjoy the fuck out of it. It's him dicking around with his kids and it's fuck it. it's I I know people don't like the instant fame. I know Kelly doesn't like Jack Black, but I am a Tenacious D fan along with my brother. It is the movie. It was it was my brother and I's Bill and Ted. 
Mm. Uh, and that movie fits that category. Yeah, fair enough. I'm more of a um, casual uh, Jack Black fan, but I like I like a lot of his stuff that he does um, uh, recently. He's a fucking and goofball, say, man. Yeah, I mean... He's just being a goober. It's just him dicking around with his kids, going to... Um, Going to retro gaming arcades and occasionally doing an actual Let's Play. <laughs> of a game that he voiced, which I love. I absolutely well, love that he's playing his game. First Let's brutal Play legend. is Brutal Legend. <laughs> Did I, you guys like Brutal Le- Legend? I, I own that game. I still have never played it. Damn, I, um, you really, I, you're really just not on the Jack Black uh, No. No. Like, listen, what is it about him that doesn't appeal to you? Is it the over... Like, Do, do you feel like he pushes it too hard, maybe? Or it's what? It's going to sound completely stupid. And it is. Okay. It is when you know, I think about it. And but, it can um, be. Jack Black is a nice guy. He'd probably understand you. you know, yeah. it, it's something he said about politics at, like 10 years ago. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. And everything he ever made, makes... Fuck this guy. He had a political opinion, and it just ruined him for me. The only oh, thing damn. he has ever done that I liked is Poe, and uh, Poe from uh, the the the, the Kung yeah. Fu Panda Kung Fu movies. Panda. Yeah. And there was a movie called The Holiday or something like that. It was like a romance movie, and he was... the one where he's like fucking the ugly girl. No, no, uh, no. That was Shallow How, I think. Yeah. Um, he was like some romance movie with, uh, the girl from Titanic in it, and they're like, they switched houses for a month, and he was like one of the friends of one of the people, and he was flirting with one of these girls, and he was talking about the Jaws soundtrack, because he was like a music producer for, for movies and stuff like that, and I was like, I, I, I liked him in that movie, and everything else he does just gets overshadowed by the political opinion he had 10 years ago. Jesus. I, like like I said, it's a completely stupid You're movie. aware it's Jack Black, and it's very likely that 10 years ago he's probably stoned out of his mind when he did that, right? Absolutely, but he just ruined it. <laughs> he, he ruined it. You might not, hell, if you ask him today, he might not even remember what it was he said 10 years dude, ago. Yep. Dude, I just, I love, I love that because it's so petty and it's so it ridiculous. Is but you, petty. St- <laughs> you stand by it and you don't give a fuck. It's something that pissed you off in your early 20s and <laughs> you don't care. Nope. Don't even care. It's like, you ruined it for you, dude, man. You, you ruined it. I was on board with the Jack Black train until you said it and now I'm done. The bad part is, I don't even remember what you, you said, but it just pissed was. me off. Yeah, I don't even remember. True. That's... It was a first impression situation. Yep, it was it was just like it, and and I know it's petty and I know it's stupid, but it's like I'm I'm standing by it. Yep. Wow. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> There's nothing else oh, to be said to that. That's yeah. That's uh. That's that's his view on it. Um. He's not going to change his mind. No. Nope. Yeah. Uh, well, that's just like your opinion, man. Man. Oh god, another great fucking reference. Um Dude, uh. you're killing me. You're absolutely <laughs> killing me. Because that is my lock screen. That's uh just like your opinion, man. I mean, it, no, mind. it's it's not it's not that exact quote. It's uh this aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> but the fact the fact that you've gone two for two in one podcast is fucking impressive. <laughs> Oh I'm, man! I'm totally inside your head. <laughs> All right, so so I, quick question yeah. time for everybody, uh, including anybody in Twitch chat. This is a question for you guys, and this is a question for the two folks in the chat with me. Questions. What was your f- favorite childhood movie? Oh damn! I know. I know. Tony's plain and simple. I know it. You might know it, but I might have another one in mind. Bro, it's Space Jam. Uh, close. What? It, 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 Space Jam is a <sighs> very, very tight close, but no. Really? My number one. My absolute number one favorite. All right. It is actually a tie mm-hmm. between... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Yo! That's my number one! (laughs) 
and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. Bruh. Those are my top two favorite from my childhood. Dude, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. Combat Cold Cuts! (laughs) Um, My favorite was... uh... I, I'd have to say Batman Mask of the uh, Phantasm fan. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, Mask that, of the that Phantasm, good one. Yeah, that is, uh, I have his pop right above my head. Uh, that is, I fucking, dude, I had that, um, I had, oh, God, I'm going to date myself as a millennial. Fuck I am. Uh, <laughs> what, what the fuck was those, were those, uh, I had the tape, I had the tape. I had the black tape, I put it in the, uh, the VHS. VCR. The VHS, VHS, the little, like, this tiny VHS TV that I could have in my room. It's, like, ridiculously small. Um, I know. I know. I have had one. I've had one of those before. I've had one, too. Dude, don't worry. I, I, it's not even 12 inches big. I'd pop down, and I would fucking watch it. Now, the number two to that is Batman Beyond. Um, that the anime. Batman Beyond movie? No, the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker was also my favorite. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I actually broke my leg trying to be Batman Beyond. Nice. So, yeah. Okay, now since that was your childhood favorite, does that mean that you got the original version of it, or did you get the um, the TV edit version where they changed where they changed the um, the origin of what happened to Robin when he got kidnapped? Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot about. Tell that. me what the okay. Tell me so, what tell me what the real one was. Okay, real All quick, right. real quick before we go into this one. Camper Tom and Chat dropped out the Power Rangers the movie where he fight they fight Ivan Ooze. Hey. And then his number two is Scooby Doo Zombie Island. Go ahead. Okay. Scooby Doo Zombie Island is a solid fucking pick. Camper Time is Camper, Camper Time, you're a good man. You, you, you have good values. And for anybody else coming into the chat, the question is what was your favorite childhood movie? Go ahead and drop it in chat, and I'll read it out for you. Go All right. Ahead. So, the original the, the original way it worked was, um, Batman had had arrived on the scene. Um, he's, you know, fighting Harley to get the Joker. They finally get to the part where uh, Joker reveals what he's been doing with Robin the entire time, and. You know, they reveal Robin, he's there on on the torture chair, rack table, whatever, and he's been Jokerfied. So we all seen that part, up to that part, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, what we don't get to see in the TV edit that happens in the original version is that while Joker and Batman are going at it, fisticuff style, old school, um... Uh, Robin finally gets free of his uh, restraints, and uh, one of Joker's gag guns, which is totally not a gag gun, but is a gag gun, um, drops out of his pocket. And um, Robin picks it up, and they kind of pause for a minute. If I'm if I'm remembering this correctly, Joker and Batman in the middle of the fight. Robin starts laughing, starts doing the Joker laugh, and he's pointing the gun at the two, right? He starts laughing, and Joker's, like, you know, waiting for his pet project to do, you know, the, uh, to, you know, to finish off Batman. But instead, at the last moment, Robin points the gun at Joker and f- fires, and the bang flag flies out of it, and it pales Joker. Yeah. Kills and kills him. That's what happens in the original version. In the that's, TV no, version. That's that's what I remember that's what happened because my mom was always like, oh. Okay, okay. Like, you got I don't know if you should version. be watching that and be like, fuck you, mom, it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Get the, the fuck out of here. <laughs> go 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 yell at my older brother for smoking weed, leave me alone. Now in the T V version the yeah. TV edit, what happened was they completely edited the entire scene. Instead of Robin actually firing and hitting Joker, I think he misses. But, um, what in, what Joker, what ends up killing Joker is previously in the fight, um, they had broken some of the equipment in their tussle, 
and Joker ends up getting caught up in the electrical wires, and they are live wires, and he ends up getting shocked to death off screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's ambiguous. You don't know if the Joker dies. Very true. And uh, Mark Hamill, I pulled up this article a while ago. I might have talked. We might have talked about this on CBN. Um, he says uh, that no, he didn't die. And, I mean, it makes sense, because what is the animated Batman canon? This came out in 1993, but the show went on, and that's the same Batman as in the animated TV show. Yeah. So, he didn't die. But he did, because all of that stuff was Tim Drake, not Dick Grayson. All that stuff happened to Tim Drake, and that was near the end of when Tim was still... Um... But is this did this shit happen before or after the... Uh... TV show. This the was uh, it TV happened show. after the animated TV show. Because this came out in nineteen ninety three. The animated Batman the animated series. No, the, the, the Joker one didn't come out in nineteen ninety three. Batman I'm talking about Mask of the Fant Are you talking about Batman Beyond? Yeah, we're talking about Return of the Joker, Batman Beyond. Mask of the Phantasm was it had no Joker. No. No. Okay. In th Oh, Batman Beyond Oh, yeah, the, his shit was dead. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was going to say, what the fuck did I miss? And I was like, I was like, I was like, what are these? Yeah. He, I don't know. He's, he's, the, he's the guy in the, with the white cape. No, and really fucking no. Creepy and has that. What? Is that a boomerang? Who? What's his weapon? Who? It's like a hook. Phantasm? Phantasm is a hook. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a like claw a hand or something. I always and, thought it was and, a boomer. I was always expecting him to throw it and the when I was a kid. And the Phantasm was a girl. You do mm. know that. Yeah. Phantasm is a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I have not. You, you're slacking, <sighs> bro. You're slacking. Dude, well, yeah, it's been 12 years. At I least. don't need excuses. I can still you what ha tell tell you what happened in I Teenage Mutant Turtles no, too. I still remember the um. Go ninja, go ninja. I really go. loved about that. I made another oh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> in Mask of the Phantasm, they had this amazing um. What you call it? No, no, no. But where you, you hit, hit play, everything. <laughs> where yes. you hit play. Uh, the music was just so good. And I remember, you know how, like, most of it, you hear it start and stop? Mm hmm You didn't really hear it. Mm -mm. And I always loved that. No. And then I insisted we buy it on DVD. And I thought it was a different movie because it's different. And now I understand that I was seeing something different with the VCR. And oh, yeah. my head hurts. <laughs> oh, Shit, man. so the DVD was that cut ending. I also loved... Uh, I did like Batman Sub Zero. I know some people didn't, but I liked it. I, honestly, a lot of the old Batman the Animated Series stuff was mm -hmm. all the movies and the show itself were fucking amazing. Yeah, it's when they reanimated and kept going that it got kind of weird. I didn't like the reanimated. See, Joker. I didn't mind the fourth yeah. season. I like the the adventures. Of no, Batman no, 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 no. I'm not. It's not. I'm not talking about the adventures. I'm That's... talking about that weird Joker. Oh, you mean like the the steroid Joker? The what was it? The Batman With the TV weird show. Fucking hair. Yeah, that yeah. one. That, the that, the that, Batman was not very it good. It scared me. It scared me as a kid. I hear you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We've been doing this for about two hours. Uh, as usual, if you guys want to answer the the question I asked in the comment section on YouTube. That would be fantastic. If there's any subjects you'd like us to converse about on the next episode, please leave them in the comment section on YouTube. Um, that's about all I got to cover. Uh, on that note, G-Dubs, thanks for joining us. We may or may not invite you back next week. It depends on yeah, it depends if we on feel how like I did. it. Yeah, it depends on if we feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. CBN, but, coming soon. Yeah, we'll try to get him to do a CBM, but we gotta read comics before we do yeah, that. Yeah, we do. We need to make a list of what we need to fucking do a CBM. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Um, but on that note, Tony, you got any closing, closing, closing stuff? Uh, you know what? Uh, there's not much in, in terms of uh, game releases and 
movie releases of the week. Um, most of the good stuff's already out by now. So uh, I'll just uh, leave you all with this quote here. There is only one happiness in this life, to love and be loved. <laughs>